All right. Uh, hello, Janet Barnes. Thank you for being here for the uh, to offer your reflections on um, our exhibition, Turning Point, the Joyce Green Gallery 20th Anniversary Exhibition, which opens next Friday, September 1st from 6 to 9. Um, happy to have you here. And just tell us a little bit about you and your your work and your experience being at Joyce Green Gallery. Well, first of all, thank you, Eric. Happy mm -hmm. to be here and thank you for inviting me uh, to be a part to be a part of this interview. Um, my name is Janet Barnes, as he said. I'm I'm a professional artist creating and living here in Northern California. Uh, my artwork is mixed media. I call it a social abstract. You can see some of them right behind me, where I mix two medias together that I fell in love with, uh, oil pastels and, and acrylic. I just love the blend, I love the brightness. My subject matter, I call it a social abstract. I'm not a realistic painter, I'm a social abstract. You look at the feeling of what you're looking at and you'll get the emotion out of it. And that's what I go through. And I, I'm a series painter, so I've got about seven or eight series out there. And I, well, I, I met Joyce uh, Gordon about 11 years ago. I was at a function in San Francisco. It was a 100, uh, 100 Black Men Gala of the Bay Area. We're having or having their big gala in December, and I met her there. When we started talking art, she started uh, looking at all. I had an exhibit there, and she invited me to her women's uh, art exhibit that was coming up in March. After we hit it out, talk about art, and I did attend. I she sold a piece of my art there, and uh, something about that's the first time I walked into the gallery. Not only did I know that Joyce, when she when you talk to her about art, you know she's passionate about it. They're not being an artist, but appreciating it. And it shows, it, re it really shows. Her whole thing is to, I love art. I want a few art and I want the world to see it. And you get that from her every single time. And that's what um, I really, really st stood out. It became an inspiration. So about a couple months later, I said, okay, I want to show here. And Joyce is kind. And I brought in my artwork to show her. And I wanted my first solo exhibit. And she awarded me my first solo exhibit there at Joyce Gordon Gallery back in 2013. And I've been a resident artist ever since. Awesome. And I, awesome. I can't say enough that it's, um, it's inspired my art, my art journey. It's, in, oh, it's enhanced it quite a bit. And um, just being a part of it, knowing that you're in a gallery that appreciates art, appreciates you. And there's all, and she loves all different arts. So I can't, I can't say enough of how positive it is. And then one of the great bright spots is her youth, her Oye. She asked me to volunteer it. And I'm not, I mean, that's, that was just wonderful. I was able to do a mural um, on, the, on 14th and on Franklin, I believe, with, with the community. What an idea is that? And it, it, was, it was a blast. And the children helped me paint a mural. And, yeah, and I still have pictures of that. It's, yeah. It, it was a beautiful mural. It was so much fun. Yes, my family came out, friends, just everyone from the street added to, uh, added to the mural. Yes. Uh, even a friend of mine added her poetry on it. So it was, a, it was an all-around thing. And that's one of the great things that she does. She's a community. She brings in a bright spot in our artistic community. She really does. And um, it's just in our gallery on 14th Street. But it's known around the it's known around the whole California, the world. I, I'm going to say yes. Oh yeah, <laughs> I'm going to say yes. And it's an honor to say when people ask me and I say yes, I'm a resident artist at Joyce Gordon Gallery. It's a real honor to be able to say that and to show. Oh yeah, yes. very much so. Very much mm -hmm. so. We always happy to uh, show your work and um, just always been a pleasure of uh, hearing you talk about your work, showcase your work, and then you support another artist within your exhibitions too. Yeah. So that's, um, briefly, can you, uh, do you have any specific exhibits that's a highlight? Um, yeah, well, yes. Yeah. My most recent exhibit was in the kitchen. And I, uh, that was um, my chef series and my dinner time series. And that one's really passionate to me. It's probably one of my favorite series. Um, where it shows families and loves. And Eric, you you display you exhibited your curating on that was absolutely beautiful. Oh, thank you. And thank I you. did um, I invited another artist that I met that was on um, 
another artist that I met that her creations went so well with my chefs and my dinner time. And she did pieces of, Bahira is her name. She did pieces of kitchenware, a family kitchenware that you don't think about, but mm -hmm. you think uh, that's my grandmother's pot. That's my aunt's, you know, a skillet. And you keep it, you keep it for a reason because it's the memories. It's the memories of being, of being there, someone cooking for you. Same thing with my dinner time. It's all on memories. That would be one of my favorite. But I also love my, my jazz series. Yes, and Joyce yes. carries quite a bit of my jazz. I always keep it there. Um, I, I really enjoyed that when I liked the outcome. Again, Eric did a beautiful job on it. But <laughs> oh, thank <laughs> you, thank thing. you. Yeah, that was one of my favorites also. Yes. It was Actually, I, I, you know, I, uh, I, uh, I briefly mentioned it in uh, this uh, 20th anniversary press release. I, it, it, was a, it was a beautiful exhibition. I love the way you guys put it together yeah. and the audience that came in, they were just oh, thank you. so inspired by it. But, and not only that, it was the, what I believe he was targeting is everybody was able to relate to it. They had a family member. When they see a piece, they think of a family member. When they saw your, your chef series, and when they saw Baez's uh, utensils, you know, heirloom utensils, everybody said the same thing I said. I got that skillet. I got yes. that skillet. Everybody, yes. they would say, you everybody mm -hmm. saw something that they could relate to. And that's one of the most powerful things of exhibition, mm -hmm. either provoke a response or have people come in and say, I yes. can relate to that in some capacity or another. Yes. And that's what, and your, that's what your exhibitions response. offered. Yes. Yes. It's an everlasting response. You can walk past that painting in your house year after year, and it's going to make you smile. It's going to mm -hmm. bring on, yeah, something's going to bring up. I did the same thing when I had my dinner time series up, and I would stand back, and I would see all the people come in, and I could hear it. I didn't say anything. They didn't know who I was, and they were like, oh, remember at that such and such house, and we used to? And I went, that's what I wanted. Because exactly. when you're young, you don't, um, when you're a child or young, and you're going through that ritual of dinner time of Thanksgiving of gatherings. It doesn't hit yet till you get older and you realize just how priceless, just how, how that's forming your life. And I really think it does in a mm -hmm. very positive way. Yes. Yeah. When you get older, you more conscious of what everything yes. means. And then so all those memories become yes. treasures because you have a better understanding of what it means. Yeah. It's it's a priceless legacy. It really mm -hmm. is. Yes, one of those that are, it's a priceless legacy. That's what I always think of, that you'll always have memories and it were, and carry it on. Yes. Definitely, definitely. Yes, definitely. yes. So I will have um, one of my very, uh, one of my very favorite, and I'm, one of my dinner times is very special to me, I'm going to have in this upcoming show. And awesome. And one of my new uh, practice series. I don't know if you can see it in the back there. Yes. Oh, I yeah. I, I got a glimpse. Yeah. <laughs> you get a glimpse of, of what's to come. Yes. Uh-huh. Yes. yes. So, well, we're excited, excited to have you. Yeah. Any last mm -hmm. things uh, you want to share before we close out? Uh, let's see. Well, I am I want to say congratulations on 20 years. Thank uh, you. For, for sure, for 20 years of, of a beautiful spot, a gallery that um, has more character uh, than you can imagine. And I thank you for, uh, I thank the gallery for helping with my journey as an artist. Um, as you know, in my last exhibit, um, I had the Crocker Art Museum see a piece on your wall um, when I was showing them different pieces. And as you know, they came in and inquired it. So I have to say thank you. Yes. Yeah, I was just <laughs> checking out that cup. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Yes. I, was, yes. I was just looking at that cup and then you mentioned the like, crack. Yeah, I, I love that. Yes. Yeah. Oh, yes. Uh, they saw it there. They said, can you have that? I go, yes. Let me turn it over to Eric. <laughs> so, right spot. Yes. Yeah, thank you for that <laughs> connection, too. They, yes. They've been very kind. We um, uh, They did a show with one of our artists that's also going to be in the exhibit. They did a big retrospective for... Uh, the late Mel Ramos. Uh, yes. So yeah, yes. that was back in the uh, same year I started, 2012. And, uh, yes. Uh, yeah. So yeah, that cup yeah, I saw him got his my pieces. attention. <laughs> I saw his piece. He was off in the auction that I was in in Crocker. He was there. One of his pieces were there. So you know, oh, I went yeah. right to it. I went, oh, there's Eric's artist here. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> Very much so. Yes. 
Yeah, so since the art and they have most of you guys in this turning point uh exhibition. So yeah, yep, so it's daughter Rochelle will be uh representing them. Um so uh just excited to have you guys in turning point, our 20th anniversary exhibition, which opens next Friday, September 1st, 6 to 9. Don't miss it. It's gonna be too Don't much miss fun. It. It's a must see. <laughs> yes. I know it's gonna be, oh my gosh, beautiful art. Just oh experience. yeah. Very mm -hmm. much so. Very much so. Yes. yes. Well, thank you, Janice, so much for being available for uh, this uh, so the audience will be able to hear your testimony while they're looking at your work. Yes. Thank you. Thank you. All right. Thank you. Have a good day. Bye-bye.